What up everybody, this is Big Elbow, chilling with Los Bros, Averno, Atlantis, like always. Um, about a week ago we went to the Collecticon in Fresno, California, about a 45 minute drive away from where I stay, and uh, it was cool, it was only $2 to get in, it was small, all the vendors were friendly and helpful and willing to make deals. I got... All my books, all my books except for a couple, for a dollar or less an issue, and I'll get to those uh, books at the very end. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started with uh, Marvel stuff, and I've got a couple books that have sentimental value to me. Uh, I read these as a kid. This is a Fantastic Four number two fifty. Uh, pretty much Gladiator comes comes in. And it's kind of like Superman fighting against uh, the Fantastic Four, plus you got Spidey and Cap, and then you got some scrolls involved in there. It's a really, it's a cool issue, man. It's uh, John, John Byron or Byrne, whatever his last name is, art. It's a fun story, man. It's good old fashioned fun. And then uh, Marvel 2 and 1 featuring The Thing, number 96. Now this one, uh, I like it so much because it's the follow-up to the Marvel 2-in-1 annual number 7, the big boxing issue where the Thing, Colossus, Sasquatch, Hulk, Thor, all these guys are summoned and they have to fight this uh, champion guy in, a box, in boxing matches. It's, that's just an awesome issue. If you guys haven't checked that out, you have to check that out. They even did a... a cartoon parody of it on the Dexter's Lab with the monkey. Anyways, like I said, check it out if you get a chance. It's really good. Uh, next up, I got Punisher Warzone. Got that for 50 cents. It's pretty beat up, but I like this issue a lot. I'm trying to collect the John Romita Jr. run on Punisher Warzone. So, you know, I got it 50 cents. Uh, and I got Punisher War Journal guest starring Wolverine part one of a two-part saga 50 cents it's also pretty beat up I just remember when I was young this was like a wall book and I always wanted it never got it so for 50 cents fuck it you know even if it is beat up um, I picked it up looking forward to that uh, next up Daredevil number 269 uh, Looks like Daredevil versus Pyro and the Blob. No, it says it right there. Uh, anyways, so I'm, you know, I'm trying. I'm filling out that run of Daredevil by John Romita Jr. I'm getting there. Still got some ways to go, but I'm getting there. And here we got Electra Saga by Frank Miller and Klaus Jansen. I figure I can't go wrong with that. It was a, a little less than a dollar. Uh, I guess it reprints the Electra stuff by Miller and Jansen. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up the rest of those or if I'm just going to pick up the the Frank Miller, the Daredevil Visionaries with Frank Miller and, and Jansen. So I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, next up, I got Invaders. I got the first like six issues of this and I, I enjoyed it. Uh, art by C.P. Smith. It was a fun read. So I figure I'll. I'm, it's only. I think they only went up to like 12 or 13 issues. So I figure I'll just finish out the rest of the run. Especially, you know, keep getting them for cheap. Next up, I got something a little bit newer uh, Ghost Rider. And I only really got this because uh, I'm a big fan of Damian Scott. And he doesn't do a whole lot of comic stuff. So. You know, for cheap, I'll pick it up. I'll probably, if I can get the rest of them, I will. And on that note, move on to my DC stuff. And Damien Scott on Batgirl. Like I said, I'm a big fan of his, so wherever I can pick up these Batgirl issues by Damien Scott, I will. Same thing with the Robin stuff. Um, Next, I got Man Bat. 
Bruce Jones, Mike Huddleston. I'm a big fan of Mike Huddleston's art. I got turned on to him on Butcher Baker, The Righteous Maker from Image uh, with Joe Casey. So I seen these and uh, the guy actually was asking $2 an issue. I offered him five for all five and he said, fuck it, go for it. So that was cool. Here's number two. That's a pretty cool cover right there. Number three. Number four. And number five. I took a quick glance on the inside, the interior art, and I like Huddleston's stuff a lot better when he does his own coloring. Or maybe just the way that this, the guy who did the coloring on this isn't as good as what other stuff I've seen from from Huddleston. And I also picked up a JSA number 19. Um, I'm going to get the red. I, I got the Thy Kingdom Come. And I liked it. So I'm just going to probably get from after Thy Kingdom Come wrapped up to I think it's this one or the next issue when the story with Magog wraps up just for the hell of it. I mean, they're cheap anyway, so I'll keep getting them. And that does it for my DC stuff. And the only non-Marvel or DC thing that I got was this uh, Dragon Force. And these air cell black and white, late 80s comics, I just I got a lot of love for them. Especially these ones, the ones by Dale Keown. You know, his early work. I was loved that stuff. And when I seen him start drawing the Hulk, I just remember being all like, oh shit, that's the guy who used to draw Dragon Force and Dragon Ring and Samurai, all those air cell books, so I always pick these up when I see them. They remind me of good times. Summers, back when I was a kid, I used to go visit my mom in Northern California. And now on, these are my, these are my big pickups from, uh, from the show, and I actually got these here Oh, actually, I'll save these. I got this for $5. Batman Year One. Um, the Dark Knight Returns is one of my favorite comics of all time. So I've always felt kind of ashamed of myself that I never read this, Batman Year One. Um, five bucks? Yeah, I'm on. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I've seen the, the animated movie of... Uh, few years ago and I liked it so and I like the art on this too so I'm looking forward to reading this a lot I feel like as a Batman fan I should have already read this so it was a long time coming so I was really happy about that and then these issues I actually didn't get from a vendor I ran into a buddy of mine um, he used to actually own the LCS over here before it closed down and he had a friend with him that he introduced me to and we were just shooting the shit, and uh, I was telling him how I had been collecting the... A while back, I picked up some New Mutants, and I got issue number 18 and 31, which happened to be the two bookends for the Bill Sienkiewicz run, and uh, I was finding them all in the you know cheap boxes and stuff, except number 25 and 26 and because the legion show came out those issues went up in price and fucked up my whole thing i was telling him about it and he was like hey man i just bought those i just barely bought those a little while ago i was like no way and he's like yeah and he's like you know what i already have a couple copies of them though so i'll sell you the ones that i got just for what i paid for them and here it is 25 first cameo some of you guys know, you know, that some of you guys that have shown these issues on, on your videos and you've heard me fucking cry about how I can't find them at a good price. So, uh, he got that one for three bucks and he got number 26. Full first appearance. He got that for five. He actually ended up giving them both to me for five bucks. So that guy was hella cool. You know, shout out to him. Um. So yeah, you know, you guys don't have to see my comments crying about not being able to find these at a decent price. I finally got them. 
both of them for five bucks. So I'm happy with that. I got one issue to go, number 27, and I'll have the full Ill Bill Sinkevich run on the New Mutants. So I'm actually going to a, a sci fi con in my hometown, Big Tulare, today. Maybe I'll find it over there. That'll be pretty fucking sweet. And uh, I should probably have another haul video for you guys from that show next week. So, thanks everyone for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. And uh, have a good one. Peace.